Hi guys, in today's video we will learn how to create colorful text or visuals with Mesh tool in Adobe Illustrator. Before we start, you can create yourself a color palette. If you like, it would be really useful because we will use a lot of color. Then create something. It can be a text, a shape, anything you like. I created an X and I have chosen a really bold font to make sure that you can see what we're doing and turn it into a shape if you create a text then go to mesh tool if you can see it you can it can be under the gradient tool after you choose it we will create our mesh but we can only create it on something some shape or something we have created before you can just apply it to anywhere else you can create these little dots as much as you like wherever you want to put and it's up to you but I think if it looks more in order it will look better as you can see when you select it with selection tool it doesn't work choose it after you choose the color and you can also see which area it will affect by the little dots for example when I click on it there is a big dot on the center and the little ones are a guide to show which parts it will affect I have created a cold color palette for this one I really like these colors Try it, try it and until it looks right to you. It also looks good when you only use few colors. It's a way of creating gradient. But this gives you a lot of freedom. You can put which color you want wherever you want to put it that's better I'm using a lot of different colors. There are nearly 50. I want to show you the effect correctly. And it's better this way if I was applying a few colors. It wouldn't look as effective. I won't 
accelerate this part where I color the X I created because I really like it. It's some kind of meditation for me, maybe you like it too. But if you want, I will keep coloring it. You can skip this part. To where I multiply it. We need more lines here.
we have different tools in here you can use any of them first we will try the tutorial tool and it they all blend colors the meshes and mesh tool I don't bring them to corners, I don't want to distort the shape. And this is the first result. Choose it again. And as you can see, the longer you hold it, the longer it will mix. So every move is really easy, actually. different tool which is crystallize it's a little different and it doesn't change when you hold up to it like the other one I want to show you what happens when you bring it to the corners and the sides. It's doing its magic right now. We will see the result and you can actually do it like this then mask it but It's weird, but really bad. This can be really useful, but we won't do it today. Back to the second one. I'll change the tool to crystallize. They are really similar. It's almost like it's the same tool. This looks more like a blurred glass and some sort of. Actually, it looks like a painting tool. Then we will change the tool again. Like I said, you can choose whatever you want. Also, you can apply more than one to the same thing, same shape or text, whatever you created. This one is a little different. It moves the lines where you move. So you're basically pulling the lines you created. It seems less effective than the other ones, but I think it still looks cute. And we are done. 
I didn't try the other ones, but you can apply them in the exact way. So I didn't think it was really necessary because the video is already long. And I'm going to put them in place, create a thumbnail, then edit the video. And for me, that's it for now. Yeah, and for now, we ended this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up.